Thank you for joining us on Synthesis Workshop. My name is Andy Tran, a member of the Synthesis Workshop editorial team. In today's installment of our advanced chemistry course, we are joined by Catherine Forbes. Catherine earned her bachelor's in chemistry at Occidental College in 2018, and she went on to pursue her PhD at Harvard with Professor Eric Jacobson. Today, as part of our special topics module, Catherine will be showcasing fundamental concepts related to phosphorus 5 compounds and their applications in modern synthetic chemistry. Thanks a lot for joining us, Catherine. Hello, my name is Catherine Forbes, and today I'm going to talk about chemistry at Phosphorus 5, including mechanisms via which Phosphorus 5 reacts and catalysis. Reactions at Phosphorus 5 centers form the chemical basis for many of the most fundamental processes in living systems. Phosphates form the backbone of DNA, and their bonds store chemical energy in ATP. Phosphoryl transfer chemistry also facilitates basic metabolic pathways and signal transduction pathways. Examining the fundamental chemistry of phosphorus 5 aids our understanding of these biologically important molecules and biochemical reaction pathways. In particular, understanding the mechanisms of phosphoryl transfer reactions and nucleophilic substitution at phosphorus 5 atoms in general has been a long-standing subject of investigation. There are three types of mechanisms via which phosphorus 5 compounds can undergo nucleophilic substitution. Much like carbon, phosphorus 5 can undergo SN1 and SN2 type mechanisms. However, because phosphorus has d orbitals, a third mechanism is possible, involving an sp3d hybridized pentacoordinate intermediate. Each of these mechanisms has been explored in the context of biochemical phosphorylation and synthetic organic chemistry. The first type of mechanism is a dissociative mechanism, sometimes referred to as SN1P, in which phosphorus undergoes an elimination addition process. First, phosphorus 5 undergoes elimination of a leaving group to form a trivalent intermediate, sometimes referred to as a metaphosphate. This highly reactive intermediate then reacts rapidly with a nucleophile in a subsequent step to afford the substitution product. Because this planar trivalent intermediate is formed, this mechanism typically results in loss of stereochemical information at phosphorus. Therefore, this is a stereoablative process. The viability of metaphosphates as intermediates in phosphorylation reactions was affirmed biochemically when a metaphosphate was directly observed in the active site of fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase at high pH. While the crystal structure obtained does not constitute definitive evidence that the mechanism of the enzymatic hydrolysis of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate proceeds through a dissociative SN1-type mechanism at phosphorus, the study does demonstrate that this enzyme is capable of stabilizing metaphosphate supporting the existence of these high-energy species as intermediates in enzymatic phosphoryl transfer pathways. Dissociative substitution mechanisms at phosphorus 5 have also been studied in the context of organic synthesis. The reaction rate and stereochemical outcome of nucleophilic substitution of n cyclohexyl phosphoromidothioic chloride with water was studied at various pHs. It was observed that at pH 4.5, starting with a single enantiomer of starting material, the hydrolysis product was formed stereospecifically in 96% EE, consistent with an associative mechanism. However, running the same reaction at pH 8.5 resulted in the formation of racemic hydrolysis product, consistent with a dissociative reaction mechanism. Furthermore, the reaction rate was measured at various pHs, and it was observed that pH correlated with reaction rate, suggesting that as the concentration of hydroxide increases, a faster dissociative pathway is accelerated. The second type of mechanism for substitution at phosphorus 5 is a concerted associative mechanism, or SN2P, in which phosphorus undergoes concerted bond formation with a nucleophile and bond cleavage with a leaving group via a pentacoordinate transition state to form the nucleophilic substitution product. Because this mechanism is concerted and proceeds via backside attack, this is a stereoinvertive process, resulting in an inversion of configuration at phosphorus. One example of a concerted associative phosphoryl transfer reaction in a biochemical context is the substitution reaction at the phosphorus 5 center of a phosphorylated sugar facilitated by a catalytic dyad in phospholipase C, in which the leaving group and the nucleophile are activated simultaneously by the enzyme. In this mechanism, the diacylglycerol leaving group is activated via a hydrogen bonding interaction with one of the enzyme's protonated histidine residues, HIS82, inducing PO bond cleavage, while the hydroxyl nucleophile is concurrently activated via a basic histidine residue, HIS32, inducing PO bond formation. The catalytic dyad of phospholipase C was cited as inspiration for the development of a diastereoselective substitution of chlorophosphoramidates to form phosphoramidate prodrugs in a report by Merck in 2017. 
In this work, a chiral bisimidazole catalyst was developed to facilitate the diastereoselective reaction of nucleosides with chlorophosphoramidates via a dynamic kinetic resolution. This substitution reaction was proposed to proceed through a cooperative mechanism in which one of the imidazoles displaces chloride on the chlorophosphoramidate to covalently activate the phosphorus 5 center, while the second imidazole serves as a general base to activate the nucleoside's 5' hydroxyl group as a nucleophile. The third type of mechanism for substitution at phosphorus 5 is a stepwise associative pathway, which proceeds through a pentacoordinate intermediate. In this mechanism, an initial step involves bond formation of the phosphorus 5 electrophile with a nucleophile to form an sp3d hybridized pentacoordinate intermediate, sometimes referred to as a phosphorane, which exists as a trigonal bipyramid. These pentacoordinate intermediates are subject to a process called pseudorotation, which we will discuss later in this presentation, and thus can undergo changes in absolute configuration at phosphorus. As a result, Substitution reactions that proceed through stepwise associative pathways have multiple possible stereochemical outcomes, including stereoinversion, stereoretention, or a mixture of stereoisomers. There is biochemical evidence for stepwise associative enzymatic phosphoryl transfer reactions. A phosphorane intermediate was characterized crystallographically as an intermediate in the phosphorylation of glucose 6-phosphate catalyzed by beta-phosphoglucomutase to form glucose 1,6-bisphosphate. This pentacoordinate intermediate is a phosphorane with apical bonds to the C1 hydroxyl of glucose 6-phosphate, or the nucleophile, and the aspartate residue of beta-phosphoglucomutase, which serves as the leaving group. Stepwise associative mechanisms have also been explored in synthetic contexts. For example, Dixon and coworkers reported an enantioselective substitution of phosphonate esters that proceeds through a phosphorane intermediate. In this report, a bifunctional urea aminophosphorane catalyzes the enantioselective nucleophilic substitution of diaryl phosphonate esters with ortho-substituted phenols. In the proposed mechanism for this reaction, the catalyst performs electrophilic activation of the phosphonate ester by engaging in hydrogen bonding interactions with the phosphonate's PO bond, while the catalyst's aminophosphorane group activates the phenol as a nucleophile through general base catalysis. The confluence of these interactions is proposed to catalyze an antideterminating nucleophilic addition of the phenol to the phosphonate ester to form a phosphorane intermediate, followed by elimination of the leaving group to generate the enantioenriched product. Now that we have introduced pentacoordinate phosphorus 5 compounds by discussing their intermediacy in phosphor substitution chemistry, it will aid our understanding to discuss the reactivity of these compounds and their general behavior. Pentacoordinate phosphorus 5 compounds often referred to as phosphoranes, have been the subject of research in organic chemistry. These species possess a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, with two substituents occupying the apical positions and three substituents occupying the equatorial positions of the bipyramid. There are general rules that have been established for the behavior of pentacoordinate phosphorus compounds, which can be considered more as guidelines. First, more electronegative atoms tend to occupy the apical positions of the trigonal bipyramid, and as a corollary, less electronegative atoms occupy the equatorial positions. Secondly, due to ring strain, four- and five-membered phosphocycles show a strong preference for an apical equatorial arrangement to adopt optimal bond angles. Thirdly, in stepwise associative substitution mechanisms, phosphoranes form via attack of the nucleophile at the apical position and decompose via loss of the leaving group from the apical position. Pentacoordinate phosphorus species are also capable of undergoing an isomerization process called pseudorotation. Pseudorotation is an intramolecular isomerization in which two axial groups of a trigonal bipyramid are exchanged for two equatorial groups. In the case of chiral phosphoranes, this process alters the absolute stereochemistry of these molecules. The effect of pseudorotation on phosphorane stereochemistry can be observed in a study that was reported of the isomerization of phosphate esters. In this study, isotopic labeling experiments were carried out to determine the stereochemical outcome of this intramolecular substitution reaction. In this reaction, a phosphate ester with a pendant alcohol isomerizes via an intramolecular substitution reaction. The starting material was labeled with oxygen-18, oxygen-17, and oxygen-16 to impart chirality on the substrate. Assessment of the absolute stereochemistry of the starting material and product confirmed that the reaction is stereoretentive, which is indirect evidence that the reaction proceeds through a stepwise associative mechanism. Because phosphorines are formed via apical attack of a nucleophile and apical loss of a leaving group, 
This substitution involves apical attack of the pendant alcohol to form a pentacordin intermediate. However, because five-membered phosphocycles adopt an equatorial axial relationship, the phosphorane must undergo pseudorotation in order for the leaving group to move from the equatorial position to the apical position, resulting in PO bond cleavage to form the product. Thus, because the phosphorane intermediate underwent stereoisomerization via pseudorotation, the product is observed with retention of configuration rather than inversion of configuration. Pseudorotation has also been studied with alkyl fluorophosphoranes. For example, while analysis has confirmed that PF5 exists as a trigonal bipyramid with three equatorial fluorine substituents and two apical fluorine substituents, only one fluorine signal can be observed by fluorine NMR for this molecule. This can be explained by rapid pseudorotation of PF5, in which the fluorine atoms are equilibrating and thus appear as one signal. One fluorine signal is also observed when tetrafluoromethylphosphane is analyzed by fluorine NMR for the same reason. However, two fluorine signals are observed when trifluorodimethylphosphane is analyzed by fluorine NMR, meaning that the fluorines in this molecule do not rapidly equilibrate. It has been proposed that pseudorotation is inhibited in this molecule due to the strong energetic preference for the more electronegative and apicophilic fluorines to occupy the apical positions of the phosphorane. Pseudorotation of trifluorodimethylphosphane would force one methyl group into the apical position, which is energetically unfavorable. NMR studies on stable phosphorines have been used to empirically measure relative apicophilicities of substituents on phosphorus, as the results can be used to observe pseudorotation. One system used is a phosphatane hexafluoroacetone adduct A, in which pseudorotation to form isomerized adduct B can be observed on the NMR timescale. The free energy of activation for pseudorotation of these species varies with the apicophilicity of the R group, and this value was measured for different substituents. Another system used is a perfluorobiacetyl adduct C, which undergoes pseudorotation to form isomerized adduct D. The free energy of activation required for equilibration between C and D varies with the relative apicophilicity of R compared to phenyl. Data from these studies, combined with data from other similar studies, have informed an empirically derived approximate scale of apicophilicity shown here. It is important to note that this scale is not a strict guideline, rather more of a general trend. In addition to stepwise associative nucleophilic substitution mechanisms, reactions of phosphonium ilids also involve the formation of pentacoordinate phosphorus intermediates. The Wittig reaction between a phosphonium ilid and a carbonyl involves the concerted asynchronous formation of an oxophosphatane intermediate, which then undergoes cycloreversion to afford an alkene and phosphine oxide product. Similarly, hydrolysis of phosphonium ilids has also been proposed to proceed through a pentacoordinate intermediate. In the proposed mechanism for this reaction, concerted CH and PO bond formation results in the formation of an oxophosphatane intermediate, which then undergoes elimination of benzene to form the phosphine oxide product. Similarly, a recent report shows that phosphoniums undergo reaction with alcohols in the presence of HCl, triggering a contractive CC coupling reaction. Experiments informed the proposed mechanism for this reaction, in which the phosphonium reacts with ethanol and HCl to form a pentacoordinate intermediate. Subsequent migration of the apical aryl substituent to the equatorial aryl group to form a CC bond, followed by elimination, results in the formation of the heterobiaryl product. Heterocyclic phosphorus compounds are also prone to undergo substitution via pentacoordinate intermediates. A five-membered phosphorus 5 phosphocycle with a tetracoordinate phosphorus center possesses a fair amount of ring strain, and the OPO bond angle is 99 degrees, which is contracted relative to the bond angle of these compounds' acyclic counterparts. The difference in reactivity of phosphocycles compared to their acyclic counterparts can be appreciated by comparing their relative rates of hydrolysis. It has been observed that the hydrolysis of cyclic ethyl ethylene phosphate is approximately 10 million times faster than the hydrolysis of triethyl phosphate. It has been proposed that one contributing factor that leads to this disparity is the decrease in strain energy required for the cyclic phosphorus compound to form the putative phosphorine intermediate involved in hydrolysis, which translates to a decrease in activation energy for this process. The distinct reactivity of phosphocycles has inspired many applications of these compounds as catalysts. Aminophosphatanes have been reported to catalyze the deoxygenative condensation of alpha keto esters and carboxylic acids. In the proposed mechanism for this reaction, 
Aminophosphatase catalyst 1 reacts with phenylsilane to form a pentacoordinate intermediate 2. Then elimination of silanol affords the reduced phosphorus 3 intermediate 3, which reacts with the alpha keto ester to form a phosphorine intermediate 4. Reaction with benzoic acid then affords intermediate 5, which can react with benzoate to form product 6 and regenerate the catalyst. It has been proposed by the authors that the reaction of the catalyst with phenylsilane to form pentacoordinate intermediate 2 is the selectivity determining step, and the energetic barrier for this step is associated with the bond angle contraction involved in conversion of the pseudotetrahedral catalyst to a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. However, the ring strain of the phosphatane minimizes the geometric reorganization required for phosphorane formation, thereby increasing the reaction rate for this step. The reactivity of phosphocycles was also leveraged in the development of a catalytic Mitsunobu reaction. Here, a phosphine oxide with dependent alcohol was developed as a catalyst for this transformation, which could undergo cyclization to form a cyclic phosphonium intermediate too. This phosphonium is a highly reactive intermediate, which reacts with an alcohol to form an acyclic phosphonium 3, resulting in a release of ring strain. Subsequent attack at the alpha carbon of the substrate by a nucleophile releases the product 4 and regenerates the catalyst. Advances in chemical research of phosphorus 5 compounds have proven that these molecules are not only crucial in a biochemical context, but also demonstrate remarkable fundamental chemical reactivity and synthetic utility. To summarize, substitution at phosphorus 5 remains a rich area of research, and biochemical precedent for catalysis of these reactions by phosphoryl transfer enzymes provides inspiration for the development of synthetic methods for catalyzing stereoselective nucleophilic substitution at phosphorus 5, which remains a significant challenge in organic synthesis. Additionally, phosphorus can form pentacoordinate species, which demonstrate distinct chemical reactivity and can undergo a broad range of mechanisms. Further exploration of the reactivity of phosphorus-5 compounds and the mechanisms via which these compounds react will likely lead to the discovery of novel applications for these molecules. Thank you for tuning in to this installment of our Advanced Organic Chemistry series, and thank you Catherine for sharing this very interesting research field with us. If you enjoyed the episode, you can support us by subscribing and telling your peers about this podcast, and feel free to send us any questions or comments that you have. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date, and see you all next time.